Let's move on to another topic. What I want to focus on a lot in these lessons is what's called combining words. And what that means is you're going to take words in a sentence and combine them so that you can make them smoother, they'll sound different from what they look like, but they'll sound more natural. And you'll actually sound more like a native speaker. And that's the goal here. If you want to speak English well, you want to combine these words instead of saying each word separately. We can tell who is a foreigner, who's studied English, and who's a native English speaker. Now, you can say a sentence perfectly, with perfect pronunciation, but you might not sound exactly like a native speaker because we don't talk like that. If you were to say, what are you going to do tonight? All the words are pronounced correctly, but it sounds a little strange because you're pronouncing each word individually and clearly. Here's how it should sound. What are you going to do tonight? You may not have learned that before, or you may have heard people say that before. But I'm going to teach you actually how to say that. So let's take a look. I have here five sentences. And in red, I combined the words and spelled them like they sound. So you can't actually see them sometimes. You're not sure exactly what words they are, but I'm going to explain it to you. Number one, I wrote, Wadaya, 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 Wadaya. That's what are you? Wadaya. Going to, most people understand gonna. Nowadays, I think this has been used so often that most countries, people, when they study English, they know what gonna is. When you say, what are you going to? You're gonna simplify that and combine those words and say, what are you gonna? What are you gonna? You don't have to say it fast. Don't say, what are you gonna, and then make your mouth all messed up and your tongue and get all confused. Don't try that. I've seen that a lot. I've seen students try to say it fast and they really don't sound good. Say it slowly. Say, what are you gonna? What are you gonna? What are you gonna? Then you can say it faster and say, what are you gonna? You don't have to say it fast, just say it smoothly. What are you gonna? What are you gonna? What are you gonna? You'll eventually say it faster and faster. What are you gonna? What are you gonna? What are you gonna? Then you can add the rest of the sentence, do tonight. What are you gonna do tonight? What are you gonna do tonight? This part here is gonna be clear, the tonight. The rest of it doesn't need to be clear. We understand it. Even though you can't understand it clearly, we know what the question is. So I say, what are you gonna do tonight? You only heard tonight. But we know what the question is. We can understand that. Okay? What are you going to do tonight? That's what are you going to do tonight? Number two. Waitle ya. Waitle ya. This is wait until you. Wait until you see this. Okay? It means I'm excited. I want to show you something. So I say, wait till you see this. Wait till ya. Wait till ya. Wait till ya. Okay? Combine. Wait until you. You don't need to say you. It's not very smooth. It's not fast. So we just make it sound like this. Yeah. Okay? This A here in both Wadiya and Wadiya is what's called a schwa. Okay? You may remember from the pronunciation lessons that a schwa is an unstressed vowel. We don't pronounce it, so don't say ya. Yeah. Okay? It's not Wadiya or Wadiya. Okay? It's Wadiya. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just make the Y sound. Okay, wait till you, wait till you see this. Number three, look at him, look at him go. This is look at him go. If someone's running fast and you're surprised, you go, wow, look at him go, All right? Look at him go. We're gonna take look at and we're gonna change the pronunciation of at to it. Look it, look it. Don't say look at, say look it. We're going to take out the H, the him, and just make the M sound. You're going to say, look at him, look at him, look at him. And then go will be clear. You'll say go. Look at him go. Number four. She's gonna get a cup of coffee. 
She's going to get a cup of coffee. She's going to get a cup of coffee. We don't say it like that. It's See how choppy it sounds? It doesn't sound smooth when you say, she's going to get a cup of coffee. We want to say it smoothly. So we're going to change going to, just like up here, to gonna. Get a, just combine them. Just say get a, get a, get a. And then cup of, you're going to take the of and change it to an a. Uh. Okay, cuppa. You're going to say gonna get a cuppa. And then put those together. Gonna get a cuppa. Gonna get a cuppa. Gonna get a cuppa. And then you combine all of that together and say, she's gonna get a cup of coffee. She's gonna get a cup of coffee. She's gonna get a cup of coffee. You're gonna say it faster and faster once you practice. So say it slowly. Don't, don't mess up by trying to say it too fast. Okay? She's gonna get a cup of coffee. That's okay. Right? She's gonna get a cup of coffee. Notice I didn't stop. I didn't say it fast, but I didn't stop. And it was smooth. The speed will come with practice. And then you'll say, she's going to get a cup of coffee. Right? He. Now, I didn't change any of the actual pronunciations here. Did it all. All I did was I combined them. Instead of saying, he did it all for you, I said, he did it all. Combined that and did it all. Did it all. And then, with a four, I changed the O to an E, fur. Fur, fur. You don't need to say for. It's too slow, it's not smooth when you say that. He did it all for you. Okay? You're gonna say he did it all fur, 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 fur. You don't even hear a vowel in that word, fur. He did it all for you. He did it all for you. Say it slowly. He did it all for you. Don't stop. Don't say it fast, just say it smoothly. And then you can say it faster. He did it all for you. He did it all for you. He did it all for you. Once again, let's say all the sentences. Number one, what are you going to do tonight? What are you going to do tonight? Number two, wait till you see this. Wait till you see this. Number three, look at him go. Look at him go. Number four, she's going to get a cup of coffee. She's going to get a cup of coffee. And number five, he did it all for you. He did it all for you. This is an introductory lesson. This is the first lesson because I want you to see how we combine the words. I want you to see how we make a sentence smoother. I'm going to do many lessons in this category about combining the words. Sometimes it'll change the pronunciation very much. Sometimes it won't change very much. All you're doing is putting it together so you don't pause. But what I want you to do is practice these kinds of words, these combining exercises, so that your speech can be a lot smoother and more natural. See, we can hear the difference between someone that says, she's going to get a cup of coffee, and she's going to get a cup of coffee. There's a huge difference. And if you really want to speak English well, if you want to improve your fluency, then you should practice. It doesn't take a lot of practice. Just a little, but the results are huge. The changes are huge.